archers! Positions now! A rain of arrows on my signal! Yes, yes sir! sir. Stop so many. Mars give us strength. I've never seen anything like it. Soldiers! A great battle awaits us! They are coming for us! To take everything we have! Everything we love! They are determined to take it all from us! Let them Fire come! Ball! And we will see if they can! Archers, commence fire! Ready, aim, fire! Ready for your target, sir! For this time, target their siege engines! Stay close to the battlements! When their ladders touch stone, kick them down! Here they come! And tell me when they draw. Archer volley, ready. Fire, volley. Fire. Archers, fire, volley. Ready yourselves, lads. Engines! They have our range! Tower's in range. 
time to cut these ropes and break this tower. Archers, what do you command? Cover me! Fire! engines. will be overwhelmed! Get these people to the boats! Yes, sir. I need to get to the docks. Is there another way? Yes, sir. You can cut through the slums there. The 
Britons are coming! The Britons are coming! Give me a sword, someone, and I'll fight these bastards off myself! Get to the boat! Get to the boat! Keep down!
so much blood. The battalion is sounding the retreat. We must fall back to the courthouse. No. Ground to a halt. Been here for the hour. They have embedded archers. Those barbarians just won't fall. Come on, men! Let's show them the strength of our shields and the edge of our blades! Open for the retreat. I'll meet with Vitalian at the courthouse. Yes, the next assault. Marius, come. Follow me. Thank the gods we might get some respite. We must get as many of our men out as we can. The river. That's the only way out now. We'll get them on the ship from Rome. It's armored and will withstand anything the barbarians can throw at it. No. They will have to go on the other boats. 
Commodus and his guard escaped on the warship, they were the first to run. The first out of the harbour, kicking aside women and children as they fled. Status of our defences, soldier. We're cut off from all districts and trying to hold the bridges, but most of our men have been evacuated. Good. When all our men are safe, we will evacuate on the last boat out. Are you clear? Yes, sir. Marius, this way. We must get word out. Tell the Senate. What Commodus has done will have to be paid for. Agreed. Take command, Marius. Reach our men on the bridge and bring them back. I'll oversee the evacuation from here. You there! Fall back! We're getting you out of here. I'll take the Scorpio and provide you cover. You men, hold me back to the left bank. All oh, men, move! Hold them off until the ship is clear. No! You have to go. You must live. The Senate will listen to you. You're a commander. They have to. Now go!
Damocles was a great warrior. A revered leader in a vast army. His cowardly commanders abandoned him. Nemesis, the goddess of revenge, allowed Damocles to return to the world as a vengeful spirit. A ghostly, black-armored centurion who would hunt down and kill each of the generals who had wronged him. Titus, you are a general of Rome. I brought you here to protect me from Damocles. <laughs> but you are Damocles! <laughs> Gods protect me. You are Damocles! Indeed I am. And my story is almost at an end. I became driven by one thought, one solitary desire. The desire for vengeance. Vengeance against the Emperor Nero, who had my family butchered. Vengeance against his despicable sons who betrayed my legion! In order to exact my vengeance, I'd have to return to where my journey began. Return to my home. Danger surrounded me on my journey back to Rome. The evil which had plagued Britain had now infected this city. Starving refugees from our once free Rome lined the roads, telling tales of deprivation and torture. The rule of law lay shattered. My life's solitary purpose was to return to Rome and end the evil that you created, Nero. To prevent you from destroying the Rome that I love and to return it to its people. Why? Why, oh gods, why? Victorious! What's this then? Valiant hero? Battle-scarred veteran of the campaigns? Drop your swords, or I will kill you where you stand. Get him! Uh, Don't let him beat uh, you like that! Uh, Have him! Uh, uh, yes. Go on! Uh,
Atticus and Janus! Someone's in there. You two, take a look. Nothing. Get back to your post. Yes, sir! I'm gonna have to stay off the streets if I want to avoid trouble. soldier on the kill and we're going to find him you murdering scum come on lads drop your hey. weapons Stand down! Stand down or die! Stand down? Just who do you think you are? And we are Praetorians! <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
fifty... nine! How many more? About a hundred or so. Up on Veer or Gusty, someone drew Nero's face and a horse's arm. Not a good idea. Talk about collective punishment. We're burying the whole street. <sighs> There's no clean water, no sanitation, no bedding, and food. What food? I have to beg for it. You see, Marius, it's not always in distant lands that our greatest enemies lurk. Who are you? Why did this happen? My father was a hero of Rome. Your father was a great general and a popular senator. Too popular, perhaps. The Emperor is a jealous man. A petty man. Your father lived to serve Rome. Emperor Nero serves only himself. He seeks power for the sake of power. He believes himself a god. A cold wind from the north whispered poisonous words in the Emperor's ear. Your father and other like-minded men wanted to return Rome to its people. So the Emperor had them murdered. After all, that is what emperors do. The spoils of his greed were divided between his sons, Basilius and Commodus. He lavished upon them great powers and responsibilities for which they were unworthy. Rome is failing its children, Marius. You are a vital piece in the game of man. And you, like all of us, have a role to play. Damocles, spirit of vengeance. The fate of the Empire is in your hands. Save Rome. Save Rome from them. I needed entry to the Emperor's tournament. 
This could be granted by just one man, so I paid him a visit. Damocles? I come for the tournament. Ah! <laughs> You're a gladiator. <laughs> oh. Mm, the, uh, the mythical armor is it's a fine touch indeed. You gave me quite the shot. Only the most skilled fighters can enter the tournament. Let me see if you fight as well as you dress. Brother Commodus may have a contender here. Bravo! <laughs> this just keeps getting better. <laughs> Bring on the next act! A champion of the arena. All the way from the table. Eustinius! Watch yourself. This one is serious. <laughs> the potential. You're wonderful. Now let's spice it up a bit. For our next act, we welcome two champions, Romulus and Remus, the killers of Carthage. But let's not make it too easy for you, Damocles. Loose the impalers. <laughs> Come, meet me in my quarters. You want to fight for your emperor? And you shall. Here is your scroll of entry. Don't lose it. You've transformed killing into an art form. I, however, express myself in different ways. Here is some of my more recent work. I've just completed the final... <clears throat> 
embellishments. It's a gift from my father, the Emperor. It's an amazing piece of work, if I may say so myself. Containing a, a hidden surprise. A small compartment inside the head that will make it cry the finest white wine to symbolize his great love for the Empire. Though I suppose it could be made to cry anything, really. Anything. Blood. Grey mountains drag down the Senate. The street. The streets of Rome will run red. Red with blood. I've seen you in my dreams. Cut me loose if you wish to know your future. Fallen hero of Rome, spirit of vengeance. Slain by the great General Marius. And that general shall be slain by Damocles. But Emperor Nero, he can only die by his own sword. You cannot kill him. Commodus was next. Here at the Colosseum, he would show all Rome his great victories and claim our deeds as his own. Now I would earn the right to fight him and cut this poison from the heart of Rome. I would have my vengeance. Can't wait to get out there and fight. You don't have a clue. You'll be slaughtered in the first wave. I've fought in every arena. No man's put me down yet. This is the Colosseum. You aren't meant to fight. You are meant to die. Yes. Yeah. 
Come at us, move through the forests! Swiftly, the 14th Legion ran into a trap! The Britons and their archers pinned down our brave soldiers! Would Commodus be able to save them? his head! A thousand denarius to whoever brings it to me! That reward's mine! Oh, sorry, Damocles. It's a thousand denarii. I'll make it quick, Damocles. <laughs> Look at you! Vengeful, Damocles! Emulating the feats of the great General Commodus? What nonsense! I destroyed the Britons single-handed! You struggle even with all this help! Not bad, Gladiator! But don't forget who's the real star of the show. Me! Not some stupid Gladiator! Me! Oh, come on, Damocles! You're supposed to be emulating my great achievements! How dare you belittle me in front of my adoring minions!
nation that dared stand against us. I am the greatest general ever to lead Rome and her peoples. Today, you have had the honor. Yes, the honor of witnessing the slaughter of every gladiator sent in against me. These once great and feared gladiators now lie dead. Broken before you. Slain by me. Your general. Your leader. Your savior. Aquilo, I must confess I'm more than a little worried. Why so, my emperor? Uh, Damocles has been fighting like a lion all day. He still looks alarmingly strong. Fear not for your son's life, my emperor. I fear not for that little shit's life, you fool. I fear for my purse. I've wagered a fortune on him to win. I will shorten the odds. Your purse is safe. Oh. And so is the little... shit. I your general! Your savior! Your god! Say you are protecting Rome. Who will protect you from me? Damocles, take your vengeance. Over here! I'm Commodus, no. you fool! I'm Commodus! I'm Commodus! The show's over for you, Damocles! Is it him? Ah! 
starving! These wounds, they cannot heal! That poison. Can't take any chances, Damocles. You understand. I know I'm immortal, but the plebs can be so fickle. One lucky blow from you and my <laughs> reputation. <laughs> take your last breath, Commodus. <laughs> Yeah! 
I've only ever known one man who can fight like that. Let us finish what your father started, Marius. Quickly, we need to get out of here. The Senate is nothing but frightened old men. They no longer listen to truth nor reason. I warned them about Britannia, but to no avail. Commodus has held the legions back, doing nothing, whilst the massive barbarian army has swarmed across the empire, wreaking havoc as it closes in on Rome. The Britons? Yes, and their army has grown tenfold. Everyone who opposes Rome has allied with them. Even tribes from faraway lands have sent them massive beasts of war. The Emperor and Commodus have made enemies. So many enemies. And across the Empire, these barbarians have seen how weakened we have become under Nero's rule. And they mean to destroy us. Destroy the Empire. With Commodus gone, they'll ask me to assume command. And I'll need my best men if we're going to hold Rome. When I suspected it was you in the arena, I readied this. The Emperor must die. And he will. But we must save Rome first. I need you now, Marius. Fight for your father. Fight for your legion. Fight for Rome. Boudicca. Once her fate was in my hands, now she spearheaded the army of a thousand tribes. Their giant beasts of war bore down on our gates. The evils of a rotten empire visited upon its capital. We must all answer for our choices, Nero, but it's the people of Rome that now pay for yours. Ah, Boudicca. Your fight was not with Rome itself, but with Nero who had our fathers murdered, and we will be avenged. But if Rome falls, then our world will descend into darkness. Chaos will lay waste to civilization. I will never let that happen. City defenses will funnel the bastards down into this one square. They could outnumber us by a thousand to one here, but confined space will take away that advantage. And, gods be willing, Rome will see another dawn. Here they come. Hold steady. Hold steady! Shield infantry! 
Over there! Fire your body! Archers! There's no end to the filthy bastards. We have to hold them here. Fire at will! I'll lead the counter charge. I need every man we can spare. No, I will lead the charge. You'll never make it back. I can hardly let you have all the glory now, can I?
Sir, the fourth cohort reserve has assembled, but our lines have broken. We have raiding parties operating throughout the city. Understood. Oh, a real soldier to fight. Cohort! Yes, sir. Come on! This way! We need to clear a way through. Vitalian is on the other side. You there! Get to work! Yes, sir. Raiding party! Legionaries, take up a defense point on our left. Archers, take the left platform. You die today. Oh! 
Marius, son of Rome, rise. There is still time. Your destiny awaits you. Look around you. How will I prevent the fall of Rome? All is lost. Don't waste time pulling off the petals. Cut off the head. General, we can't hold them back for much longer. Boudicca. Sir? Sir, I don't know for how much longer we can... The gods do not favor us. We must... Fall back. Flee. Is that what you left your post to tell me? Is that why you left your men? We have been summoned by the gods, and you want to flee? I should kill you myself. You bring dishonor to your men. You bring dishonor to me. You bring dishonor to Rome! I swear to you, Centurion, Rome will not fall. Not today. Today, we fight. Signal whatever's left of the 6th Legion to come about and reinforce the west flank. Pull the 5th out of the old quarter to do the same. I'll find whatever's left of the 14th and take on the enemy in front of the palace. Go! Understood. The front line will hold. Even if I have to hold it myself. General, Boudicca's forces have overrun the Forum. What are your orders? We tear a hole in Boudicca's inner guard and eliminate her. Can I go back to my home?
from the Scorpio could knock over that pack of pitch. Get that gate open! Move up! You following, sir? On the war elephant! She's trying to breach the palace defences! What artillery do we have? There's a Scorpio up on the ridge there, sir! War elephant! Watch out! Another war elephant! Here comes one! It's charging! Meet again, Roman. This time yield or pay the price. And let you destroy Rome. Never! We can't both win. And I have come too far to let you stand in my way. Ah! <laughs> 
I say yield! Do it now, Boudica! Marius, son of Rome. We are not much different, you and I. Fate has made us enemies. But in another life. In another life, perhaps. Not in this one. No. Not in this one. Do it, Roman. Do it. <clears throat> Centurion Severus to me! 
Display this from the highest place you can find. When the barbarians see it, they'll run. The battle will be ours. Since you're clearly not here to protect me, what now? You had my family murdered. You have left Rome in ruins. Everything that has happened, all this needless death, your jealousy, your vanity, and your arrogance has caused it all. Wait, 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 wait! Have you forgotten the Oracle's prophecy? Emperor Nero can only die by his own sword. You can't kill me, only I can. You said so yourself. You anger the gods. Hand me your dagger, General. Then I can at least die as an emperor. Even if I never lived as one. Well. You said the barbarians have been defeated. So, it's not them pounding on that door. Those are my Praetorians. God! God! Democles is here! He's here to kill me! Protect me now! Marius, my good man. Do you have any idea how much trouble you've caused me? How hard I've worked to tease all these pieces into place? Leontius is dead, my emperor. <laughs> this is not the time, Boudicca. Run. Why? It's simple. To destroy Rome and end this foolish notion of civilization. Watch out! Ah! Oh, you mortals play your games. We gods play ours. But the game has rules. Oh.
In time, Rome healed, and her civilization once more grew and flourished. The city, saved by an unsung hero, would go on to stand for thousands of years. Rome would endure. From then, until the last days of man. <laughs>